Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm actually going to show Window Eyes the screen reader in action. So I've, I'm running it in Internet Explorer. Now I tried to do the same thing using Google Chrome and I just wasn't getting any response from Window Eyes when I was running Google Chrome. So I do wonder if it works in Google Chrome at all. But if you've had success using Window Eyes in Google Chrome, then let me know in the comments. It could just be that I'm being a bit daft. Okay, also remember that I've done a separate video where I've done a whole list of shortcuts that you need when you're moving around a web page using Window Eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the BBC News website. The other thing is it's going to be quite tricky doing this video because I want you to listen and be able to hear the screen reader as well as myself and it's going to be interesting to juggle the screen re reader's voice and my voice. But here we go. So as a page loads Window Eyes analyzes it and tells us about all the different elements that are on the page. So Window Eyes has told me that on this page, the BBC News page, we've got links, we've got um, headings, we've got frames, we've got a table and we've got some landmarks. So immediately I'm, point I'm pointed towards which keyboard shortcuts to use in order to understand the page better and it's the, this assessment that Window Eyes does as it loads a web page. This is particularly important when you are coming across a website for the first time. Okay, I'm going to use the hot key, the keyboard shortcut key L to move across the links. Let's see if it works. Visited link BBC. Link skip to content. Link skip to load. Link accessibility help. Link sign in. Visited link news, link sport, link weather, link iPlayer, link TV. So, pressing letter L moves us nicely forward through some of the links on this page. Now I'm going to do Shift L and see if we can move backwards. Link iPlayer, link weather, link sport. Visited link news, link sign in and shift L is working as well. Okay, this is going well. Let's try H for headings. Heading 2 BBC navigation. Heading 1 visited link BBC news. Heading 4 breaking news. Heading 2 link overtime should count in. Heading 2 link assign marks the polling place for voters in Kivu port, Maine. On heading 2 link GCHQ tech firms in denial over extremists. Heading to link spaceship pilots actions analyzed. Okay, so that worked really well. What was interesting is there's a picture of a voting, a voting place that's going on, a, a voting location in America, and it's actually a, a photo, and it seems to have labelled it as a heading, but that's not an that's not an error of window eyes. I suspect it's a, an error just on how they've compiled this page on the BBC website. So that works well. Let's do Shift H to move back through the same headings. Heading to link GCHQ tech firms in DIN. Heading to link assign marks the polling place for voters. Heading to link overtime should count in holiday. Heading for breaking news. Okay, so it, it's moving backwards through the headings as well. So that's all. that's all lovely. And that's it. I just wanted to do a very quick demonstration of using Window Eyes on a web page. And I've done that. As I said, I'm using Internet Explorer with this. I tried to use Google Chrome, couldn't get it to work. But in the comments, if you've had a different experience with using Window Eyes in Google Chrome, then let me know. And any other comments, anything else you want to say about this video, please leave it in the comments section below the video. Thank you for watching.